Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Yamini and in today's video we are going to discuss about the question paper for environmental science theory into practice 1 which is the ability enhancement course which is AEC semester 1 okay for Delhi University. Now in this paper for regular course students there are two parts which you have to attempt, part A and part B. And for the students which are from open learning, there are three parts, part A, part B and part C. And guys, it's because I'm suffering from cold. Anyways, let's move on. For regular students, the question paper is divided into two sections, part A in which 30 marks are there and part B, 20 marks question are there. Okay, you have to attempt any three questions from part A and two questions from part B. See, as I always say that it is very important to read the instructions, right? And open learning wale students ke liye, it is three sections, part A, 30 marks, part B, 20 marks and part C also for 20 marks. Okay. So now let us begin. For part A, question number one is define the following. You have to define the following, any five of the given. Uh, first one is your primary productivity. Second one is forest ecosystem. Third is hazardous waste. Fourth, non-renewable energy. Fifth is nutrient cycling. And then it is your sixth one, which is your minerals. Okay. Now the same questions are printed in Hindi as well for the students for Hindi opting language okay now next question is state whether true or false okay first one trees are dominant vegetation in tundra ecosystem Bhopal gas disaster occurred in the year 1986 Sardar Sarovar dam is built on river Narmada wetland play an important role in aquifer recharge and fifth one is biogas is a non-conventional source of energy now same question is given in Hindi language as well you can read it this one, this one, now next question number two, write short notes on any two of the following, okay, Tarun Bhagat Sangh and its role in water conservation, ecosystem service and graded action response plan for track to tippani likhni hai tarun bharat sang aur jal sanrakshan mein iski bhumika par ya fir paristhiti ki tantra sevaye ya delhi mein vayu pradushan se nibatne ke liye graded action response plan ke upar okay now question number 3 is explain the multidisciplinary nature of environmental studies paryavaran adhyan ki bahuvishyak prakriti ki vyakhya kare b what is nuclear energy briefly discuss the environmental impacts and health risk associated with radioactive waste. It is of 10 marks. Two questions, 5 5 uh, uh, marks each part. Okay. Parmaru Urja kya hai? Radio dharmi kachre se jure paryavarani prabhavo or swast zokhimo par sangshape me charcha kari. Next question. With the help of relevant examples, elaborate the process and importance of restoring degraded ecosystems in urban areas. Prasangik udharano ki sahayata se shahari kshetro mein bigde paristhitik tantra ko bahal karne ki prakriya aur mahattu ko vistrat kare. Okay? Now here is the part B. Now this part B is based on the practical approaches. Right? Aapko uh, ek situation type di jayegi and aapko uske questions hai jinne aapko answer karna hai. So, you can read the question for you. According to the United Nations, the Sustainable Development Goals are the blueprints to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. All the goals are interconnected and it is important to achieve them by the year 2030. With respect to the three SDGs given below, these three SDGs, 3, 4 and 5, okay? Justify the above statement and provide five steps for each SDG that are being taken or should be taken in order to achieve the specific goal. Okay. So now on this, you have to justify this statement basically. Okay. Same question is in Hindi also. Sanyukta Rashtra ke anusar, stat vikas lakshya sabhi ke liye behetar aur adhik tikau bhavishya prapt karne ka khaka hai. Sabhi lakshya aapas mein jude huye hai. Aur inhe varsh 2030 tak hasil karna mehetwa poon hai. Niche diye gaye teen SDG. के संबंध में उपरोक्त कथन को उचित ठहराएं और प्रत्येक SDG के लिए पांच कदम प्रदान करें जो विशिष्ट लक्ष्य को प्राप्त करने के लिए उठाए जा रहे हैं या उठाए जाने चाहिए ठीक है और SDG है SDG 3 which is for good health and well-being 
देन एस डी जी फोर गुणवत्तापूर्ण शिक्षा एंड एस डी जी फाइव लैंगिक समानता जेंडर इक्वालिटी ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सपोज दैट यू विजिटेड फोर डिफरेंट स्टेट एज अ पार्ट ऑफ एजुकेशनल ट्रिप्स कंडक्टेड बाय द कॉलेज कौन से हैं वो फोर स्टेट्स राजस्थान गुजरात उत्तराखंड एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश ओके यू आर नाउ आस्क बाय योर टीचर टू प्रिपेयर अ ब्रीफ रिपोर्ट ऑफ योर ट्रिप हाईलाइटिंग अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इको सिस्टम विच यू सॉ ड्यूरिंग द ट्रिप ओके बेस्ड ऑन योर नॉलेज ऑफ इको सिस्टम ब्रीफली डिस्क्राइब एनी फोर टाइप्स ऑफ इको सिस्टम वन फ्रॉम ईच स्टेट दैट कैन बी फाउंड इन दीज स्टेट and the description should include the following points okay to so, aapko in char states mein kaisa ecosystem hai ye pehchanna hai aur likhna hai aur ye sare points usme cover hone chahiye right ki kya hai ecosystem ka type kit stage mein aapne find kara hai usko temperature and precipitation range and pattern uska dominant vegetation kya hai and different types of native animals like herbivores and carnivores that are present okay same question is in hindi as well Moving on to the next question as a member of the college environmental society or eco club you uh, have been assigned the responsibility of preparing a framework ya plan for sustainably managing the solid waste generated in the college you plan to take a survey of the college identify the various sources of solid waste and then suggest various steps to manage the waste prepare a schematic illustration of your overall plan for solid waste management in the college campus so here basically you have to prepare a illustration okay diagram banana hai aapko ek flow chart form right now this part c is for sole students only right in this you have to differentiate between any two of the following hydrosphere lithosphere pond ecosystem versus river ecosystem and renewable and non renewable sources of energy ओके okay, निम्नलिखित में से किन्हीं दो में आपको अंतर बताना है जलमंडल और स्थलमंडल तालाब परिस्थिति की तंत्र और नदी परिस्थिति की तंत्र ऊर्जा के नवीकरणीय और गैर नवीकरणीय स्रोत नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मेनी ऑफ द ट्रेडिशनल प्रैक्टिसेस एंड ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज अमोंग लोकल कम्युनिटीज इन इंडिया कैन बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचर एंड प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज जस्टिफाई द स्टेटमेंट विद सुटेबल एग्जाम्पल्स भारत में स्थानीय समुदायों के बीच कई पारंपरिक प्रथाएं और पारंपरिक ज्ञान प्रकृति के संरक्षण और प्राकृतिक संसाधनों के संरक्षण के लिए बहुत सहायक हो सकते हैं उपयुक्त उदाहरणों सहित कथन की पुष्टि कीजिए The last one is urban areas are epicenter of all kinds of pollution. Elaborate on the different types of pollutions that occur in metropolitan cities. शहरी क्षेत्र सभी प्रकार के प्रदूषण का केंद्र है महानगरीय शहरों में होने वाले विभिन्न प्रकार के प्रदूषण पर विस्तार से प्रकाश डालें Okay? So that's all for this. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel.